All right. So today we're going to keep talking about what we started last week at the end. We're talking about the multi-view drawings. Okay. So we're, well, that was doing kind of the, the different views of something looking straight at it, right? Yeah. So kind of like here, usually this is what we do. We do a top, a front, a side. Usually the right side. Why would we do a left instead of a right? Kind of. Yeah, it shows more things that's visible, right? If the right, if the left hand side had fewer hidden lines than the right hand side, we'd show that one. Um, so also here's kind of an example with the natural part, right? The top looking straight down, it. just like if you're above it looking straight down on it. This is the front of it, right? That's what's closest to you here. So it's closer to the front view. See there, that's closer to the front view because that's the front of the object. The left and right are just flipped. Top and bottom flipped. Okay? Just keep that in mind and it's all easy. If you get that backward and start doing stuff like Canadians, you have problems. So this is kind of the same thing. Same thing. Remember we're using third angle projection. That's the name of it. So we're kind of just rotating the part, the, the part as we go to the other view. So we're taking it, kind of rotating it. So what was on that side? So this this edge right here, right? Now that's going to be the thing in front when we get over there. Okay. Let me. Here you go to my screen too. <coughs> You're just kind of picking up and turning it. Or remember the glass box? We're looking at it from here, here, and here, and then we're just unfolding it to get our views. Okay? If you ever get confused on that, get one of those examples out, put it in here, take one of these, these markers, not these markers, use the thin markers, draw on it, and then unfold the box. And see what you see. Okay. <coughs> Any questions so far? So that's saying the same exact thing. Oh, well, that's unfolding the box all the way. You have the top, the bottom, the left, the right, or the left, the right, the front, and the back. It's just got a bunch of extra little stuff in there, right? So, important things, <clears throat> when we have our measurements, we have three main measurements. Height, width, and depth. Okay? So we have the height of it, we can see in the, the front view and the side views, right? We can see how tall it is, the height. We can see the width in the front view and the top view. We can see the depth in the top the side. Okay? So height, the width, the depth. Depth. Okay? okay? And the depth in the top view, should it be the same as the depth in the side view? So should that and that be the same? Yeah, it has to be, right? If you're taking apart, you look at it from the top. This is going to be the depth right in the top view. I look at it from the side, the depth, same measurement, right? It can't change. <coughs> so, so a way we can do that also <coughs> is the same thing? Yeah? Yes. And those two, same thing, right? Yeah. So what I can do is draw a line to connect those. What angle is that line? 
45. It's called a miter line. So what we can do now is any point that we see in this view, we can project over to that miter line. And then from that point, we can project it down to that view. Okay? So that's an easy way of taking something that's on the top view and giving that same distance over on the side view. Okay? And see, if I, if I line stuff up here, that's going to line up with that. That's going to line up with that. It's going to line up there. See everything kind of lines up straight up and down. And then it lines up. <coughs> Straight across. See that? See that, that? That's why we want to keep everything aligned. Remember we talked about that last week a little bit. Lining them up, top view above the front, then the front, then the side view to the side. So that way we can line stuff up to see where those points are supposed to be. We can use the minor line to come over, line stuff up. So that's one reason we really want to keep it lined up so that we can do this. You don't have it lined up, can you do this? No. What do you have to do? You have to measure everything. And that's just too much work. Keep it lined up, it'll be a lot easier. It also makes you catch mistakes because if you have something that's sticking out further, you know that either this is wrong or that's wrong. So like if I add this, and this actually stuck out there. If they didn't line up. I know something's off here. Let me figure out what it is. Or if this view is like that tall, this one's only that wide, right? The depths aren't the same. You know, something's going on. You turn it or something. Okay? So use that to kind of double check and just see, is it making sense? These two should be the same height, right? Can't have this one down here and this one up here. Questions? And those are the those are the common problems that people run into when they're first starting is they try and do each view kind of on its own, and then they look at it and they don't rec they don't realize <clears throat> that things aren't matching up. So we kind of want to we'll go through creating the views today and kind of a way to make sure that everything lines up. But for right now, go ahead on that <clears throat> on that piece of paper you took earlier. Sketch a top, a front, and a right side of that. You don't have this paper, I'll get one. You don't have paper. How big? How big? Um, just guesstimate it. So, no, use this paper, kind of guesstimate it. <clears throat> About three, in three inches, two and a half inches, half an inch. So kind of guesstimate it. If you make it a little bigger, a little smaller, that's okay. But kind of keep it in proportion, though. You don't have to do it exact. Just kind of keep it about right. Use your sharpened pencil before class. Not in the middle of lecture.
process for me. So I'm going to sit here forever. Yes, we're going to do top, front, and side view of it, not isometrics. We'll get to that in a few weeks. Does anyone have one that they want to look at? Let's look at. I saw some good ones out there.
How's that? <clears throat> when you look at this, do you see that? Does it kind of make sense? Yeah. Why do you think this is the front view? Why didn't you pick that as the front view? depends on how you want it. This one is the actual shape of the object more than that one. So that, that's an, a good reason for it to be the front view. <clears throat> um, and how are those lines? Do things kind of line up? Yeah. Yeah, you use the minor line. At this point, you come up, come across, it's going to line up with that. These come down. This one comes right across. That one comes across. <clears throat> His construction lines are, are nice and light. I can't really see them. Um, other lines are, are darker, so I can kind of see the difference. So he doesn't need to erase the construction lines. Okay. So that, that's a good good drawing of it. Does anyone want to see? Can we go? What about this one? How's this one? He put this on the side instead of the front, but he but that's still lined up with that. Does it line up? Let me project. Yeah. Let's. I bring that over. Then from here, I go down. Yeah, it's flipped, right? So this one you had the, the back, the tall piece in the back. Here you had the tall piece in the front. So this is a real common thing to do. And that's why I say use the wire line. That way you can make sure that things are lining up. You're not accidentally flipping it or something. Got it. <clears throat> so you're not probably not the only one that did that. Probably been done by a lot of people, and a lot of people will probably do that later on also. So and that's why we want to either like my line, we want to project things. <clears throat> also looking here, we, have, we didn't really talk about what makes you see it. But if you look at this line here, or let's just look at these two views first. How are those two views? Just go away, right there. Yeah. It's open on the corner. But that's pretty good, right? This is the low part coming forward towards you. You can see that low part here. Because this is flipped backwards, 
this corner should be really here, right? So if we flip this, this and this corner was here, it'd be perfect. But because this is here, another way we can see is if we're looking at this view this way, that the front view is like looking at the side, to the side also, right? <clears throat> so if I looked at this here going this way, do I see an edge right there? Is there a visible edge here somewhere? No, the edge is hidden back here, right? So then, so then this being visible doesn't make sense with that not having visible. So that's another hint that maybe it's flipped or something. Can I help you? Tell her to get better. Right. And the video will be online tonight. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So any other questions on this? So make sure you project things. It'll it'll catch those errors. <clears throat> so let me ask you a question about that. Mm -hmm. What I did wrong was I had to really flip. Yeah, you just the side view. No, you, you put the right side view. Just you put it the wrong way. Oh, okay. This is really the the left view. And also here, this line would be hidden, right? If I was looking at this front view from this side, yeah. When did this line be hidden? Yeah. Yeah. And I should. So have it should have just been flipped over. I should have left that corner out there too. On the front view. This. That oh yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it, you kind of did the left view, but you put it on the right. Yeah. Because you did the view as you're looking at here, but this was your front view, so that's kind of to the left of the front view. Yeah. So it should have gone on the left side. Any other questions? All right. <clears throat> so we're picking our front view. We want to pick the one that's the most descriptive about the part, the one that tells us the most about the shape of the part. Um, and usually that means it's the largest view or the more, most complicated view. Um, it's like a car. This is the front of the car, right? But if you saw just this, could you tell what that car was? No. Maybe, but you might have a few options to pick from. You might go tell it's a car, not a van or a truck. But you could, sometimes you might go tell what model it is, but not all the time. You see the side view of a car? Can you tell what it is? Yeah. You can tell exactly what it is, right? Yeah. So that's the most descriptive view. So if you're drawing a car, the side of the car would be our front view. Because that tells us the most about the part, or the whole thing in this case. Okay? Does that make sense? If you're doing architecture, the same thing. The front of the house. It's the one with the most stuff, right? That's where you go in. Usually that has, it's most decorated and skull kind of stuff. The back is usually kind of plain. The sides are kind of plain. Even, no matter how it's positioned on the map, whatever's north, the front of the house is always going to be the front view. And just in architecture, they call the other views different stuff. That's enough architecture. What's wrong with architecture? Boxes. It's complicated in other ways, but it's easy in drawing. <clears throat> so we also in our front view, we want to line it up like it would actually be positioned. So car, we put the front view with the wheels on the ground straight across. We're not going to turn it or make it go up, up and down. Even though it's the same view, that's not the way we normally see, normally see it, right? So we wouldn't do that. Uh, sometimes for parts, So like on this one, I kind of turned the whole the whole thing so it fits better, and then that handle is turned a little bit here. So on small parts, sometimes it's okay to turn them to get it to fit on the paper better. But when, once we get to the the whole assembly, we want that to be positioned like it would be actually working. And so bigger parts, we want to do that same kind of a thing. 
you, if you can, you want to position it the same orientation that it'd be when you were using it. That way, if someone looks at the drawing and they look at the part, it's going to be facing the same direction. The top of the drawing is going to be the top of the part when it's sitting on their workbench. Does that make sense? I see a question. No? Oh. Okay. We're kind of going to that. When we're doing our views, why do we want to do the one on the left instead of the one on the right? Why do we want to do a front and a side view? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, no. So I, I don't always have to do all the views like we said last week. But why would I pick the, the front the front and the side instead of the front and the top on that? Because the side view shows the owls up the top. What does it show it shows more? The height of the detail. More detail. Yeah. If you look at just the top view and just the side view, because the front's exactly the same, right? But if you look at the top and side view, this one, all you see is a bunch of lines all right next to each other, right? Kind of confusing. Doesn't really tell you much. This one tells you that, oh yeah, the parts up here, there's a, a hole up here, something down there. So it is just a better view for that part. And another one. Right Almost the same part, but now the top view is the better view. What's the difference? Yeah, same, same reason as before, right? Now this one's a bunch of lines, and this one you can kind of see what's happening with the part. So you want to pick the view that's going to kind of show you more about it, if you have the option of two different views. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of a judgment call. Every view is yep. different. You've yep. got to find the best way to express the by problem. Yeah, and the simplest way. So you want to show the simplest way possible, the most clear way. It's not about being overly complex and doing as much as you can. It's not like an English paper. It's not, it has to be 10 pages. It's do as little as possible to get the message across. Okay? So here's this part. And this is our normal top, front, right side lined up like that, right? What do you notice about this? What does it say right there? Yeah. We're smashing into the title block here, because this is right here. This is our title block that has the title of the drawing, who drew it, some general notes and tolerances and stuff. That can't move. That just has to stay there. It has to stay that size. By doing this, we're, trying, we're squeezing this against that. We've got a bunch of empty space up here we're not using. We can't move the title block up there. That's not allowed. So what is allowed, though, is doing that. Instead of putting the side view off the front, do the side view off the top. Same thing, right? Instead of going this way, I want this way. Same view, it's just turned. Right? You just took it, turned it, stuck it next to the top view. Perfectly fine to do. Okay. So if you need, if you need a space for it, and by hand, you've got to do a little bit of planning, right? On the computer, if you're doing it in CAD, you do it. You realize I'm running into it. You just move it over. By hand, you got a lot of planning to do. Now, but that's the main thing that makes doing it by hand harder than doing it on the computer. Is that you have to plan everything in advance, and if you Decide to do something else later, you have to restart. You can't just fix it. Um, which won't be an issue for us in this class, since we've got books with good paper on them telling you exactly where to draw it. But if you do other projects, do some stuff for your welding classes or your own projects, you need to plan out how you're going to fit it on the paper and what scale you're going to use to scale it down. That's where you use what we learned last week. But in here, we're going to do all grid paper stuff, so you're not going to have to worry about trying to fit it on the paper correctly. Okay? 
Just keep that in mind, though, <clears throat> for other projects that you do. <clears throat> Any questions? <clears throat> so, like I said, we want to keep it simple. We want to use the least amount of views possible to show something. Can we show some things in one view? Yeah, like what? What? Like a regular block. Yeah, just a block. What else? Or a sphere. Yeah, a sphere. Something that's round, right? Something cylindrical. So things that are flat, cylindrical. So flat things. What are some flat things we can do in one view? Gaskets, cut parts, this. All I need is that, right? If I give you that view dimension, could you draw that? Could you make this? What else would you need to know? The thickness. So I can do that in a note. I could draw this, one view, give you a note saying that it's eighth of an inch aluminum. And that's all you need to know, right? You don't need to have a side view of it because that's just that. It doesn't give you anything else. So why do it? So same, same kind of thing. We have the part drawn out. A note at the bottom telling us it's quarter inch brass. Or this part here, it's a roundish part, right? Let's break it down by section. What's this section? What's that say? <coughs> means that this is a square, 65 millimeters across it, across it, right? I don't need to have anything else because it, it, I have, we have a symbol for square. It tells me that. 65. This section, what is it? That's yeah, a circle. The diameter 49.22 millimeters. Whenever you see a drawing in metric, it's always millimeters. Okay? And this one, diameter 31.75 millimeters. This one, what's that mean? Anybody? Thread. It's a thread. The 20 millimeter thread in this part. So that means it's out here is 20 millimeters also. So with that, you know how to make the part. Right? You assume these all have the same center. The center line runs all the way through all of them. Just tying in their centers. You know that the square is centered on the round pieces. Otherwise, if it wasn't, what would we need? Yeah, a side or top view or something to see where the offset is. But because we only have this, we can assume that it's centered with, with the cylinders. Okay? Questions? So, you look at that packet, there's a few things that have just one view. <clears throat> Two view drawings, things that have a little bit more detail. Why do the top view, not the side view? Plus your more detail. And more detail. What's the top view have in it? Uh, holes. This is a big rule right here. If you have a hole, you have to look straight at and see where it's round. Okay? If you have a hole, you have to be able to see it as a circle, looking straight at it. Okay? That's a big thing on determining how many views you need. Later on, we get to auxiliary views. One of the main reasons for auxiliary views is to find a view where you can see the circle being round. Okay? Why do you need that? Why do you know how to see a circle where it's round? Yes. How are you going to make a circle, right? You're going to turn it, you're going to measure it from that edge, line it up against the drill press or whatever, and drill it, right? So you have to be able to show them that measurement so that the machinists can go do it. Okay? So that's that's the biggest rule there is. 
<coughs> if you have a, cert, a hole, you have to see where it's round. If you have an outside cylinder, it doesn't matter. You can look at it just from the side, right? Here. These are cylinders on the outside, no hole. I can look at it from the side. Actually, that's better. But if it's a hole, you have to see it round. Why, do, why don't we need a top view there? Yeah, the same as the front view, right? So why show it twice? No point. Especially if you're doing it by hand and you have to draw the whole thing. And here, why not do the side view? Is there anything in the side view that's not in the top or front? A little slot right there. Would I need a side view then? It depends. We could do it here if we did a section, but if I didn't want to cut this part, then I would need a side view so I can see how deep that cut goes. Just because in dimensioning, we have to dimension it where it's visible, not where it's hidden. Um, what if that was a hole instead? What if I made that a hole? Would I need the side view then? Yeah, definitely. Okay? So, it's kind of, if it's just a notch, something kind of depends. There's other ways to do it. If it's a hole, have to do it. Okay? Questions? All right, let's look at some of these examples. So let's look at this sheet first. You guys all have that on your screen, right? You can see them? All right. What about that piece? How many views? One, right? Nice and easy. That one? That one. That one. Two. 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 One. Two. Two. One. Okay. Let's say that going. This is top. That's top. That's front. That's side. What views do we need? Top and front, right? We need the top view. Front view. Why do we need the top view? Why can't we just use a front view? Because the front will give us the diameter of the hole. But why do we need the top view? Yeah, because the flat piece. If that was round, like this one, how many views do I need there? One, right? Which one? So just the front, right? I can see the hole. I can see the cylinders. There's nothing else going on in the back. So one does it. But this one, just because it has that flat, now I have to do another view. I need to you want to see what that looks like? That. Well, why does it need to? Because it looks like it's similar to the other one. You see the it's flat it's flat 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 flat. Flat. Oh, that's a flat yeah. piece coming out? No, no. It's a flat oh, I see there's a flat. Oh, I didn't see it. I need yeah. to get my glasses on. <laughs> so there's the front. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, and then the, the top <laughs> has that flat piece back there. So you have to go to measure that, that, one, or that 0.69 dimension. Have to go measure that in. That makes you see it now. Now, what about that piece? Or again, top, front, right. What views do I need? Two. Two. There's a hole down here. So you need the side and the front, right? Or the front and the side. The name of the view doesn't matter, just which views it is. So don't get caught up on, this is the front view. You're going to pick one that looks the most, the best for the front, 
for the front and put that on your drawing and then from there you're going to project. Once you have something on your paper, don't worry about what it's called. Okay? Just make sure that you're projecting it correctly. Alright, so let's look at this one. What about that piece? This right here, is cutting it so you can see the inside. How many views of this do we need? I hear two. What two views? Top and the front. Front, bottom. Where's the hole? On the bottom. So we need the bottom view. Okay. So we want a front and a bottom. And maybe even turn it sideways so it fits better on the paper, right? What about that one? I hear three, I hear two. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Three. Three. Anyone else? One on five with a three? Two. Why? Yeah, so if I had the top, the front, and the side, does the side show anything new? No, right? All it is the same. All you see the the height there. Then everything else is hidden. That's no good. So top and front. That's all we need. Two views. What about this guy here? <laughs> Three, but not the three you think. <laughs> so it's top, front. We could do the side, but then we've got some, some issues. What's better? I'll talk about it later. The section, we're going to cut it right there. And we're going to look at, see what that profile is right there, whatever that is. <laughs> it's a section. Yeah, so we're just going to cut off part of the view and do the side. We're just going to kind of take this section right here off of it. Okay? So, so three views, still pretty. What about that one? You can see it's got some sections already showing. What? Yeah, four, five, six. And it depends on how detailed you want to get. I've done drawings with ten views before. Now instead of just having the front, top, side, left, right, back, bottom, now we're, I'm doing sections. Once you start doing sections, you can cut it here, you can cut it that way, that way, that way, and just move them off to the side and have tons of sections. So it kind of depends on how complicated the part is, depends on how many views you need. Most parts though, one or two views. If you look at this, I don't think. Oh, I have one part with three views. One with three views, but not the. It's got a detail instead of a. So I kind of blew up part of it. Yeah. So one part with the top, the front, and the side. And actually it was a front, a side, and a bottom. And then one that had three, it was a front and a side and then a detail where I took a little piece and blew it up to make it bigger. But other than that, everything was two views or one view. So you, you want to keep the simplest you can. 
is what was the problem earlier? If you do too many views, sometimes you can flop things. If you have fewer views, that's fewer things to mess up, right? So do as little as you can to tell me what it is. Okay? If you look at what you've done and you can't see everything, is it enough? So if you look at it and you go, I can't see the, where the hole's around. You need something else. <clears throat> or if you look at it and you go, from this view, I, that's too small, you manage to blow it up. Or I can't see that because it's behind something else, I'm going to cut it. All right? So that's how we make all the other views. It'd be, like, it'd be a lot clearer if I just blew this up. Then blow it up, make it bigger. Okay? So, which one of these is the right answer for this? A, B, or C? B. Agree, disagree. It is B. A is first angle. Backwards land. Don't go there. The bottom's on the top, the, left's on, the right's on the left. Don't go to A land. An A drawing will give you an F grade. It's not right. Who had a C drawing? Yeah, it's not lined up. You're going to mess up. Because you might. Try and line this side up, but they'll leave that side not lined up. Now your part's too short. Right? You can't project, make drawing it hard. Don't do it. Keep it lined up, make drawing easy, and you just it'll go faster and it'll be better. Okay? Alright. So there's the top view. What does that part look like? Can you tell at all? No. So that's another reason why we make multiple views is if we need to show what it's going to look like, right? That could look like that. Or like that. Or like that, right? Or it could be. We can't tell. Or it could be like that. Or B could be slanted, or A could be slanted, or they all could be slanted. Or they could be curved. So that's why another reason why we do other views is to see what the shape of the part is. Okay? okay. So if I'm looking at the side view, usually when we're doing isometrics like this, that's the top, the front, the side. That's kind of the standard way we organize that. So what's the side view of that going to look like? A, B, C, or D? I hear a Q. <laughs> it must be late. What? Is it ready? It's the front view. The side view. Side, side view. Look at it like the arrow. What? B. 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 Do I have any? Want to decide the things other than B. B the consensus. What's the difference between A and B? What? No. Where do you see that? Well, that just means there's something hidden back there, right? If I if I had a center line, then that would say it was a circle, right? But just two parallel, thin line like that. You can't tell either way. But what's A telling me right there? There's some kind of edge here. Is there an edge there? No. So, can't be A. So, yes, it's B. Okay. So, we've got hidden lines back here. We can see from this side that we can't see those vertical edges at all. So, then they have to be hidden. And we can see the hit. They're back here. So, they are there. So, they're hidden. 
Okay. How about that one? Side view again. A, B, C, or D. Match shapes. So we got a little over. We got a little square there. A little square there, right? And it's kind of J shape here, kind of a J shape there. It should always match up the same number of shapes and the same type of shape. Not always the same. They don't always look kind of the same, but they should be the same shapes. Okay? Just because it's turning it to a straight view, sometimes it looks a little bit differently. But it should have the same number of points. It should be the same general shape in the same same general direction. Okay? <clears throat> what about that? This edge here is where? Mm -hmm. that, that edge right there, right? Yeah. So it's going to be hidden. Okay. Questions? We'll do one more and then we'll take a break. <clears throat> so, front view this time. Go look at it this way. We're looking at it turning this way. <laughs> We're looking at it. From this direction. What shape should they be? Yeah, it's D. Right. We have the L here, the upside down L, L upside down. Okay. Question? Any questions? All right, let's do a break, um, come back at 1.30.